Hi, I'm Chris. If you study politics like I did, you'll learn government is a monopoly on violence in a given territory. But we never considered what that meant. Government exists to centralize power, to take it away from you and me, and let a few people decide which policies to impose on everybody else. Because of the nature of power, government is unaccountable to those it rules. It therefore only ever serves a small minority of the population, usually the richest people. And as such, its taxes, laws, wars, ministries, and enforcers are all designed to serve that wealthy minority. Their policies serve to take our wealth and our freedom while jailing or killing anyone considered a threat to the social order the government has established. Then it justifies that order by creating propaganda and indoctrinating the entire population. If you'd like to understand government better, click on the link to my video, What is the State?, in the description. Governance, broadly defined, is making and implementing decisions for a group. Government is one kind of governance. But throughout history, there have been innumerable other forms. Until the emergence of the state in a few parts of the world, humans lived in groups that may have had a chief, or a group of elders, or maybe not even that, and none that had established institutions for concentrating power. Their relationships were not coercive. And if you click on the other links in the description, you can learn about the various self-governing societies that exist even today. So start a neighborhood council. Organize your workplace. And if you live in North America, learn the history of the native people whose land you live on and how they governed themselves. Humans are capable of running their lives free of government. They just need, to paraphrase Emma Goldman, the intelligence to want it and the courage to take it.